Hey everyone, this is Brian Fitzgerald with Told Hub. Today we're going to walk through altering your schema on your database and removing and adding uh, primary keys um, for that schema. So we want to change this, uh, this table in the database to reflect um, the tracking of multiple people's favorite teams. So we're going to add a first and a last name column and then also make those primary keys. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to alter the table to include those columns. I'm going to add my alter statement into Dold Hub's online uh, editor, and we can run this. And if you're new to Dold Hub, anytime you make changes um, like this, you're going to actually get a notification in here to see the difference in the schema. And the rows highlighted in green are what you added uh, to the database. And uh, if they're in red, it'd be what you are taking away. So let's create this pull request. By creating a pull request, you can add a peer review workflow into what you're doing. So someone can come in here, leave a comment if you need to make changes, or just let you know that it looks good. And then you can also edit these notes here to reflect what you're doing. So it's not um, something generic like that. So I'm going to merge this uh, into the database now. And let's go back. All right, great. So now we have first and last name as part of the database. So now I'm going to add um, some information in here because we're going to want to add first and last name as primary keys, but they can't be null to do that. So I'm going to use our spreadsheet editor to add um, some names. Uh, we can actually drag these in here too, just like you would in Excel or Google Sheets. Now we've added this in here so we can upload the table. Dold Hub creates the CSC for you. And we can now see uh, what we've added and uh, what's changed in here. So we've added my name to each of these teams. Now let's go hit next and we can commit that to uh, the database. And just like before, we can use this workflow, leave notes, update this to wherever we want. Um, so we have a history of it or someone can review for you. Great, so let's go take a look at the database. Let's rerun this query, get the latest version. And we can now see that I've added my name in here. So the next thing we want to do is change the primary keys in this. So the first thing we're going to have to do is drop um, uh, teams as um, team ID as your primary key and then add the other ones. So let's just drop the primary key. That statement will do that for you. Same workflow as before, create this temporary workspace. Now one thing does change here with on Dold Hub, you don't get a diff summary when changing the primary key. So you're going to want to leave good notes on why you're changing it and what you did. Now we can merge this into the database. And if we go back to the database itself, we will now notice that there's no key next to team ID. So now let's add the additional uh, primary keys. Run an alter statement again, just add the keys. And same as before, Dolt's not gonna show you the diff. So when we create the pull request, um, when you go through here and do this yourself, and if you're working in a team environment, just make sure you're leaving good notes uh, for what you're doing. So let's merge this into the database. And let's go back. Awesome. So now we've added two columns and we've updated the primary keys, which will reflect with that little key right there next to team ID, first name, and last name. Hope you found this video helpful and let us know what else you'd like to see here on Dolt Hub.